Hey guys, Katrina here, Liz Everweeley. Welcome back to my channel. Well, May is Ellers Danlos Awareness Month. If you didn't already know that, this is just a little awareness video. I know I've done hundreds of these before, like, but uh, it's just to remind you all and to raise more awareness because more awareness the there is the better. First, I want to show you how my fish and my shrimp are getting on. So far, these guys are settling in well. I have got them a new light and I've changed a few things about in their tank. And um, plus I've reduced the flow rate of the filter because I had it on too high, but uh, they're settling in well and the, the brown shrimp are in there too. I managed to get a better video of them on my other camera. But they're, they're tolerating each other well and they're, they're doing just fine. They are really nice to sit and watch, especially on a bad day, like. But they're, at least they're tolerating each other now, so... None of the shrimp have been eaten. They have plenty of places to hide, and the fish are well fed on other stuff as well. So every, everything's going well with the tank. So, as you know, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome myself. It's the reason why I'm in a chair. My type of Ehlers-Danlos is the hypermobile type, which is the most common type. Although my EDS is quite severe and I am doing things to lessen the severity of it. Although I still get people who think that I'm not doing everything that I can, but that's just pure ableism for you. There are 13 known types of EDS. One of the rarest types is the vascular type, which is the most severe type, as it can be life-limiting or life-shortening for some people. People only think of joints when it comes to EDS. That's not everything that it affects. Like it causes all sorts of problems with your intestines, your heart, your internal organs, everything. I have heart problems as well. I have a mitral valve prolapse, which has been monitored by my, my doctor. But uh, there's other people who are a hell of a lot worse off than me, who have things like gastroparesis and stuff like that. They can't eat solid food or anything. I know people who are on uh, TPN. I will put the full name of that on down at the bottom of your screen now. And basically they, they can't eat anything at all. Their stomach cannot process solid food, so they have to be fed through their bloodstream. That would be my nightmare. I can handle being in a wheelchair okay and not being as mobile as other people, but that would be something that I could not handle, having to be tethered to a machine for 18 hours a day. So I'm glad that I'm not as bad as them people. I just count my blessings, really. Uh, I know I am quite active compared to other disabled people. I like to be as active as possible for as long as possible because there is some degeneration with EDS. Although with the correct management, such as the correct physio and stuff like that, you can make small improvements. Thankfully, since my encounter with the horrible physio, I have had a better physio who is uh, working with me at the minute. Once the their pool opens in the hospital, they're going to take me back in to do the hydrotherapy again. Although I have been doing some recently because we've come out of lockdown and we've opened the swimming pools and stuff. So it means that I can do some of the exercises at least, even though it's not a proper hydrotherapy pool. And plus my good physio gave me the, the walking frame which I decorated a while back. I'll put a link to that video in the cards above. I do use it. I have my splints and braces that I use for various activities, including my cooking splints, which I've used before in several of my cooking videos, and my leg braces, which I'm still waiting for a new pair. Uh, I think that's been held up because of the pandemic, really, but it takes six months on average anyway to get a new pair of leg braces so god knows how how long it will be before i can get them i'm trying to increase the amount of time that i spend out of my chair it's just a slow process with the way that i walk it means that i can do a lot less while i'm out of my chair because i have to concentrate on uh, balancing and stuff because of my leg braces the, the ankles don't bend if you imagine what it would be like to try and walk with ankles that don't bend, you would understand. You don't realize how important your ankles are until something happens or an illness like this happens. 
I will put a link in the description to the Ellerstannos Support UK, which is a charity that I volunteer for. They are brilliant. They helped me a lot when I was first diagnosed. They have a helpline and they have trained medical staff there and trained counsellors. I think they have an, a registered nurse as well there. She has quite literally saved my life in the past. When I had the, the meningitis girl, I give the doctors the little card that I have, the medical ID card, and they phone the hotline number and they help me quite a lot. If you can spare anything, please donate to them. You will be able to do that through their, their website. I will also include a link in the description to the NHS website, which basically explains what Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is, although they have the same information on the uh, Ellers Daniels Support UK website as well. Thank you for watching. I know this was just a short video today. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe by clicking below. And remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.